Now, I wrote a column. It's up on LarryElder.com called Coronavirus Lockdown. What about deaths of despair? Right now, over 85,000 Americans have contracted and died from the coronavirus. There's a report. He's one of the authors is the chief strategy officer for well-being trust in California. It's called projected deaths of despair during the coronavirus recession. And it suggests as many as 75,000 Americans could die from despair due to unemployment, depression from isolation, fear of the indefinite and uncertain nature of the pandemic. And one of the authors, one of the study's authors, said, I'm quoting, deaths of despair are tied to multiple factors, like unemployment, fear and dread, and isolation. Prior to the COVID-19 pandemic, there were already an unprecedented number of deaths of despair. We wanted to estimate how this pandemic would change that number moving forward. We estimate there could be 75,000 coronavirus-related deaths of despair from alcohol, drug abuse, and suicide. This isolation, he said, is causing people to lose boundaries on their behavior. People have to be working. We have to get people connected to other people. End of quote. And last year, I wrote a column about the connection between suicide and unemployment. The British journal Lancet published a study associating worldwide suicides with unemployment. Quote, our data suggests not all job losses necessarily have an equal impact as the effect on suicide risk appears to be stronger in countries where being out of work is uncommon. End of quote. Well, being out of work in America is uncommon. Studies said between 2000 and 2011, there was an estimated 233,000 suicides in 63 countries. And that number increased during the last recession. What are we talking about now? Unemployment, 14.7%. And if you include people who are underemployed or temporarily underemployed or temporarily unemployed, the number probably is likely over 20%. That is why this former proponent of lockdowns did a 180 and wrote a long piece in the New York Times explaining why he did the 180. CNN had a piece that said 68% of Americans said we're not going to go back to normal life until there is a coronavirus vaccine. And the article cited Gallup poll as its source, but the poll did not ask whether or not the vaccine was needed, quote, before returning to normal life. The question was, How important are each of the following factors to you when thinking about your willingness to return to normal activities? 68% said the availability of a vaccine would be very important. But being very important versus mandatory, two different things. And after somebody complained about it, CNN changed their headline and posted a clarification. People want to go back to work. People recognized a disproportionate percentage of the people contracting and dying from coronavirus are elderly people, especially those in nursing homes. 